so now we are going to discuss the next article uh, that is parsing parsing is uh, basically a process which is related to context free languages uh, it has relevance to uh, context free grammars and also push down automatas because we all know that uh, uh, context free grammars are the grammars which are constructed for context free languages whereas push down automata are the machines which are constructed for context free languages right so parsing process uh, is basically a process which is related to both context free grammars as well as pdas now what is parsing uh, basically parsing is the process in which uh, you try to process uh, a given uh, language and we try to interpret whether that uh, a particular string is getting accepted by that language or not in order to do that uh, we can either do this process in the form of a context free grammar or we can do it in the form of a pda also right so in the third unit we have seen how to write a context free grammar for uh, these type of languages and we write a derivation process right so we derive the string from uh, the grammar and we finally conclude whether the string is accepted or rejected similarly in case of push down automata also uh, in this fourth unit what we have seen up till now is that for a given language we try to uh, construct certain moves with help of state transition diagram and also we make use of stack in order to maintain the history information and uh, with help of id notation we process the strings uh, and finally comment whether the strings will get accepted or rejected that by that particular language right so this entire process of id notation i would say uh, or the entire process of derivation i would say id notation of pda and derivation of cfg this entire process is basically representing a parsing process right so parsing is a process uh, with which we we are able to uh, check whether the string is getting accepted or getting rejected by that particular language right now this uh, parsing uh, can be of two types uh, either it can be a top down parsing or it can be a bottom up parsing there are two types of parsing top down parsing and bottom up parsing now what is the meaning of these two and what is the difference right so top down parsing yeah, the difference uh, lies in the name itself so top down indicates that that in this type of parsing process you start from in top down you start from the starting symbol of grammar okay you start from the starting symbol of your grammar and you proceed towards the given input string you proceed towards given input string during the derivation process during the derivation process so whenever you are solving a grammar for acceptance you write a derivation right so in that derivation if you start from the starting symbol of grammar and you process or proceed towards the given input string we call that process as top down parsing so uh, we can draw that with help of certain uh, tree also right so s gives something say for example s gives a c d suppose huh, then a gives small a c gives say b and small d and d gives e suppose this is our grammar and this b gives b okay so this this example is for say like this grammar c s gives a c d a gives a c gives b d d gives e and b gives b okay. so what is my string a b d e my string is a b d e this is my string w so for this string what i am i am doing right now is i am starting from starting symbol of my grammar a c d then a gives a then c gives b d then b gives b and then d gives e okay so i am starting from starting symbol of my grammar and i am reaching to the given input string or in other words i am starting from root node of my parse tree and i am proceeding towards leaf node that's why we call it as top down that's why we call it as top down approach of parsing with help of grammar same we can do with help of pdas also 
okay so we can construct pda for this type of language also and we can solve its id notation also in that id not notation also first we start from starting symbol of grammar and then we proceed towards the given input string and then we proceed towards given input string i'll give you one, one example in the last lecture if you remember we have seen one example for top down pda corresponding to cfg if you could recollect in our last lecture we have seen top down pda corresponding to cfg so in this we have seen one example pda for strings with more a's than b's now this pda is basically a top down pda this pda is basically a top down pda right where number of a's in x are greater than number of b's so first we constructed a grammar right and then we have constructed for that grammar we had constructed a pda similarly for any grammar we can construct a pda using this methods right and in this parsing process in this accepting parsing and accepting process what we did so here for parsing process we have solved from starting symbol of grammar till the given input string so this is top down and in pda id notation also we first start from starting symbol of the grammar so what comes on stack first is starting symbol what comes on stack first is starting symbol of our grammar and based on the production rules we try to reach to the given input string and further that given input string gets popped with our input uh, symbol that we are getting and further uh, we reach to z0 but the approach is that we are starting from starting symbol of grammar on the stack and we are trying to reach to the given input string so that further we can perform all the pop operation and we can finally comment on the acceptance so the approach of top down parsing is that we start from starting symbol of grammar and try to reach to the given input string either in the form of grammar or in the form of pda also but there is another type of parsing which is called as bottom up parsing there is another type of parsing which is called as bottom up parsing in this approach we start from the given input string itself we start from given input string itself and then we try to move towards starting symbol of grammar so approach is different we start from given input string itself and we try to move towards starting symbol of grammar here the approach is start from starting symbol and go to input string here the approach is start from the string and from that string try to apply production rules and try to generate reverse production rule i would say in that case and try to reach to the starting symbol of grammar so it is all about the approach so for the same grammar if i draw this tree my approach is from this string we are trying to get and reduce to our starting symbol of grammar we will not draw the tree in the uh, reverse order okay we will not draw the tree in bottom fashion bottom of fashion like this will go up the tree will remain like this only so this is root node and these are uh, the leaf uh, uh, these are the interior node these are leaf node tree will remain as it is but the approach indicates that that i am processing i am starting my processing from the leaf nodes and i am reaching to the root node of my tree such approach is called as bottom up parsing wherein i start from the given input string i start from the given input string and i try to reduce this given input string to starting symbol of grammar how would i i would i do this so say for example in the in the same example you can observe that if i'm doing a bottom up parsing for the same string a b d e so i'll try to reduce this i'll start from the string then i'll try to reduce this e to d then i'll try to reduce this uh, b to capital b then i'll try to reduce this bd to c then i'll try to reduce this a to capital a then i'll reduce this acd to capital s so the process is same but the approach is i'm not solving from starting symbol and reaching to input string but i'm solving from the given input string itself and applying the production rule i'm trying to reduce that to starting symbol of grammar okay so if i start from given input string if i start from given input string and if i try to reach to starting symbol of my grammar then this approach is referred to as then this approach is referred to as bottom up parsing now how do how do i do a bottom up parsing okay we have seen one example of top down parsing okay so i'll not repeat another example we can use the same example where if you get a short note type of question on top down parsing you can refer the same example that is top down pda okay so for this for any language first we'll construct a grammar and using the grammar to pda rules you can write the 
deltas and you can solve one derivation and in the same approach you can solve the id notation also right so that is top down pda but let us see example of bottom up parsing here in today's video let us see and understand one example of bottom